I don't think there was a single day that I walked in the locker room before gym class and it didn't sound like the world was ending. Everybody knows that probably one of the most chaotic places you could go in a high school is the locker room. If you're a girl, I don't know what your locker room atmospheres would be like, but in the boys, there's not really much that's off limits. You know, you would think you're getting ready to go to PE, you walk in the locker room, everybody is quietly changing into their gym clothes and minding their own business. Psych! But actually... <laughs> See, there's just something about the locker room atmosphere combined with the fact there's like 45 kids cramped into a small space, it's just a breeding ground for chaos. Whatever coach is supposed to be supervising, if he's even there in the first place, is probably not even really invested in monitoring the shenanigans that he knows are just gonna occur regardless. If you had a class that was close to the locker room, you could hurry up and get over there before the chaos started. You know, you walk in, you're the first one in there, it doesn't even feel natural. But that doesn't last for too long, because then the rest of the class gets in there. People are getting five-starred, whipped with shirts, people are slamming their hands against the lockers, really for no other reason than it makes loud noises. But the one thing that was always gonna be there, no matter how early you got there, was the axe smell. You could be the first one there in the morning, and the smell from the previous days would not have gone away overnight. I'm pretty sure axe smell was just like a permanent state the locker room was always in. Some days it would get pretty bad too. You could like walk in for 5 seconds, walk out, and you would still be smelling like axe for the rest of the day. And it's not even that the majority of people used it, it's that the few people that did sprayed like half a can every time they used it, and they'd ruin it for the rest of the school. It didn't even matter what we did that day, we could play like basketball, but just the day they make you stand there and practice dribbling the entire time, and at the end, some axe user would still be like, hold up, gotta stay smelling fresh. One time, I even saw some kid putting on axe before class started. I'm like, wait, what you putting on axe before we even start for? He goes, well, what happened was, it's been like 9 weeks since school started and I keep forgetting to wash my clothes, so I just spray Axe on them now to cover the smell. And the worst part was, I started to notice multiple people doing this, there was more than one offender. One day, it was like 4 weeks into the year, the teacher asked who had washed their clothes yet. Less than half the class raised their hand, so now, you got everyone spraying on too much Axe after class and before class to the same pair of nasty sweaty clothes every day. Bruh. The way the locker room was set up, there was rows of lockers in between the two walls with a gap between the ceiling, which just meant it was a perfect situation for people to throw things through the gap in between rows. Whenever someone had something they didn't want, they would just kinda toss it over to another row and make it their problem. All of a sudden you got multiple rows engaging in full out warfare. I mean, the gap was not very big, so stuff would usually end up hitting the ceiling before making it through and then ricochet in some random direction. This one kid, I still don't know why, decided to launch a full basketball from one end to the other. Of course, it hit the ceiling before it made it through, bounces off, and nails some kid right in the head. He was kinda a big guy, and it was a hard throw, it almost knocked him over. He turns around and starts yelling, who did that, who threw that ball? Next, it was like a movie, everyone separated themselves to the opposite side of the room and I had never seen this man move so fast before, he like teleported over there, and at this point, I thought it's over, he's getting whooped, but then the bell rang and I guess he decided that today's his lucky day and he just let the whole thing go. This other time, some kid threw a half open bag of Cheez-Its, that hit the ceiling, burst open on impact, and Cheez-Its just flew in every direction. It's basically raining Cheez-Its. Everybody was already running around anyways, so it was like 20 seconds before they were all crushed. There's like a layer of Cheez-It crumbs on the floor now. But I bet the next class that came in probably didn't even think twice about it when they saw it. Random stuff on the floor wasn't really an uncommon thing. For some reason, it was kinda normal for people to just start snacking in there, including me sometimes. At the time, we probably didn't realize that our food was being infused with axe particles as we ate it. But when people were done with their food, instead of throwing it in a trash can, which for a while there wasn't even one in there, they just kinda leave it on the floor. You could always expect to find some type of empty chip bag or half eaten granola bar just chilling on the ground. There was this one day, some kid took an axe can and sprayed it into a cup, and they flung that across the room. I wasn't even really angry we were being showered in axe, I was just worried that now other people were gonna start getting ideas and axe showers were gonna become a frequent thing, but luckily it didn't. 
So there was this one kid in my class that sweat so much, I've never seen anyone sweat this much in my life, ever. Every day at the end of class, his shirt would be soaked. And it didn't take long either. We would start class, do like two push-ups. I look away for three seconds, look back, his shirt is already half soaked. But I mean, come on, just use this guy's logic. Let it dry overnight and then spray it with Axe the next day before class and you don't even need to wash it. Sometimes we would get back into the locker room and he would wring out his shirt like it was a full washcloth. You know, it was just part of the locker room experience that shirt whipping is gonna occur. And if you whip someone with your shirt, it's like an unspoken rule. You better expect to get whipped back. Trust me, nobody was even taking a chance with shirt whipping this guy. But I think the craziest thing that happened all of high school in the locker room, one day I was talking to someone and they were standing right next to an open stall door and I was telling him about something that had happened in my previous class that day. And I don't think he was too interested in my story because in the middle of it, he interrupts me and starts yelling. He goes, this story is so boring. And for extra emphasis, he grabs the open door and slammed it shut. But when he slammed it shut, he slammed it shut so hard that it hit the frame and he actually just took the entire door off the hinges. I don't really know how that even happened. The physics of that don't even add up. But it doesn't change the fact that there's a stall door just lying on the ground. And it made a pretty massive boom when he slammed it. So the coach that was supervising hears it, walks around the corner, and given the fact that someone just took off a stall door, he didn't even really seem that concerned. He's like, what's going on over here? I'm thinking like, how's he gonna get out of this? And then he tries to make up this story on the spot Something along the lines of, well, what happened was I was trying to lock the door from the inside, but it wasn't locking. So I tried to lock the door extra hard and the door just fell off. What? Okay, this was obviously the most made up excuse ever. But the coach just kind of looked at him for a second, looked back at the broken door, then looked at me. I was like, okay, I walked away. I could not believe this guy just got himself out of that situation. They also had a lost and found in the locker room, which comprised mainly of huge amounts of sweaty and axe ridden clothes that have all been piled up on each other for who knows how long, so they're all extra musty. One day I forgot my clothes to change into and the teacher was saying I have to have gym clothes or she's marking me a 0% for that day. And she was telling me to go get some clothes from the lost and found and wear those. I was like, nah, 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 mark me absent at that point. I'm not trying to have to take like 10 showers when I get home to get rid of that smell. Between sports and different gym classes I took, I was in the locker room basically every single day I was at high school. All of these stories make it seem like it's a wild zoo every single day, and honestly, it kind of was. But looking back on it, it was all a fun experience. And really, the only actually annoying part about it was these things, which sometimes it would seem like under no circumstances would they open on the first try. But other than those, it was all good fun. That's all for this animation. First off, I want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you. I really mean it. And um, we're on road to 10k now. So if you made it this far into the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in the next one.